And some cocoa, huh? Thank you. 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 Thank Yes, and without Darren seeing it. So you need to describe Darren, which wow. leads you think is cheaper. Wow. Wow. Okay, there's four different pictures, okay? Of four different leaks. Okay? But it looks I pretty small. Wow. Wow. Hey, you want to leak? Go for your moustache. Huh? <laughs> no, there's one and three. No, it could be three or two. It could be three, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Six dollars! Okay, 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 okay. Oh. Your way to the princess. Okay. Wow, man, pay Wow, 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 Hey, I think need hire a translator. Okay, okay. Hey, can I, who can I hire as a translator? Hi. Hi, Chanel Dior. Yes. Sui Ni, Sui Lei, Gan. Thank you. Nyan, Nyan, Oi, Oi, Do, Bak, Tao. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Daddy. Okay. Thank you. Dear Darren, it's been 10 years. 10 years ago, I would never ever have imagined marrying you. So we were so young back then, and all we could think of was having fun, hanging out with our friends, and partying our days away. But look where we are now. We have all grown up, survived a long re distance relationship together when you are studying overseas and then being apart most of the time because I was busy flying and many, many more. You have made these 10 years so easy and I will always have so much fun with you by my side. We both know how indecisive I can be, but one thing for sure is that you are the person that I want to spend the rest of my life with. Now that we are embarking on the next phase of life, I promise that I'll continue to laugh at and with you. Be your strongest supporter unless you are intending to get a new PS5 or to spend thousands of dollars on Pokemon cards. I promise to be your trusted confidant and to take you in sickness and health despite all the adventures and dangerous stuff that I put you through. I don't want to make empty promises, so I'll try to learn and cook your favourite eggs and bacon so that you will have something to wake up to to fill this big belly of yours. I promise that I will think more with my head than my heart when we argue. And most importantly, I promise to kill the roaches in our house. Very important, yes. I can't wait to do the next 10, 
times 10 years of our lives together. I love you. Oh, wow. Such good service. Okay. Uh, Junwen, you came into my life like how most people normally do when they meet someone new. Uh, yet I clawed my way into yours through a very impressionable Polaroid incident. In the past 10 years, we've experienced great wins and disasters together. These trials constantly pushes the boundaries of what I thought I could endure. And in the end, I feel more strongly connected with you in a resolve to get up and try again always. I am thankful by your ability to push me to live life to the fullest and how you always compliment my shortcomings. I love that you're kind of funny uh, and kind of not as you still drive me crazy. It drives me crazy that you like lying on our bed with your outside dirty clothes and now I'm starting to lie on our bed with our, my outside dirty clothes as well. As your husband, I promise to take care of you even when literal shit is everywhere like when you got food poisoning in Bali. I pledge to remind you that tomorrow's a better day to buy a Lady Dior. I vow to be the man you inspire me to be and the man that you deserve. So I, I know our journey ahead is not going to be easy, but I am sure that it will be worth it. Uh, Chuan, I love you. As both of you have given your consent before me to live together in matrimony and have solemnly promised each other to do so, I now pronounce you as man and wife. Hello everybody, uh, my name is Darren and I am honoured to be standing here as the best man for Darren and Jinwen. And the best part, our dad have the same name. I was this close to suggesting that we get married on the same day. But I am sure that Jinwen will be the first one to disagree. <laughs> As for Jinwen, I started knowing her during our poly days when Darren would briefly mention to me every now and then that there was this lady in his class that he would took a fancy to. But I really only get to know her better after our poly days when we started to travel together. The more I get to know her, the more I found it interesting how she's able to be happy all the time. If I were to use a word to describe each of this couple, it would be wanderlust for Chin Wen and foodie for Darren. Jokes aside, I've seen the positive influence that both Chin Wen and Darren have brought to one another how Darren is always happy around Chiwen, how he gives in to all he, her wants, well, apart from the Lady Dior, of course, and how they are able to ground one another when it comes to serious life decisions. On behalf of all the guests present, I wish the couple a blessful marriage. Cheers. Thank you. It has been 16 years since knowing her, and today I could not be happier to be standing here to celebrate my dearest friend and her husband, Darren, and more importantly, I know today will be the happiest of days of celebration because it's also my birthday today. Jin Wen is fiercely loyal and will go to any lengths for a friend or family. Jin Wen is always a dreamer at heart. She is free-spirited and has always lived her life to the fullest in her own terms, which is a rare gem in a harsh world today. And last but not least, Jin Wen lights up every room she walks into and spreads joy and laughter everywhere she goes. In fact, I could not think of a better partner for Jun Wen than Darren, and I could not be more happy than Jun, for Jun Wen to have found you. Darren compliments her so perfectly by being able to keep up with her boundless energy, taming her bad spending habits, and being the only sane, reliable, mature person in the relationship. <laughs> because of this, I know you two will make an unstoppable team. I wish both of you a lifetime of happiness together with love and laughter. And I look forward to having you both celebrate my birthday on every 8th October going forward as husband and wife. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Ama. Thank you, you so much. 我年纪小时虽然有点胖但你却说不胖还鼓励我一直继续做我喜欢做的事那就是吃妈咪谢谢你一直都看到我的潜能虽然现在不是什么精英但如果没有你小时候的鼓励我今天也不能如此的出众<
Daddy， 谢谢你总是相信我，我想做什么读什么，你都会一直鼓励我去做。谢谢你也带我去品尝各地的美食，难怪现在俊文呃煮的饭我一口都吃不下。<笑> to my brother, thank you for providing me with Spotify Premium and for teaching me how to pirate. Uh, but what you have best given me was just you being my big brother. Because of your presence, I actually. I became an urban legend, which is a cool fat kid when I was younger. And last but not least, I want to thank the very amazing lady beside me. Thank you for making my life so much more interesting. Every day with you is filled with shenanigans、um, that I'm grateful for. Oh, and thank you for learning how to not hog the blanket at night. I love you. So first and foremost, obviously, to my mummy and daddy, thank you so much for everything that you have done for me. For allowing me to grow at my own pace and at my own time, for giving me the opportunities to make mistakes and to learn from them. So now that you have a new son, I'm sure that he will take good care of you guys, and、uh, like he have always did for the past ten years. Next to my one and only the dad, the one that I grew up with, fought the most with. Thank you for being the best playmate and always thinking of me whenever it comes your way. So I will always be thankful of all the years that we slept beside each other, and the talks that we had before we fall asleep. And finally, to the man who thinks I'm amazing on days that I'm not, <laughs> thank you for bringing order to my life. Thank you for bringing me down to earth when I'm flying up in the sky. Thank you for taking care of me when I'm horrible at even cooking for myself. Uh, a decent packet of instant noodles. There are so many thank yous that I want and need to say, but ultimately, thank you for loving me the way I want, and by being by my side all this while.